In this video, we're going to see one of the common aspects which we usually find on board our ships, either in the instrumentation panel or any pressure or temperature tapping, especially in the boiler. We have a pressure gauge before which the pressure tapping from the boiler connecting the pressure gauge will be curved or looped. So the topic for the day is on the siphon tubes or siphon loops. What are they and why are they provided? Let's watch it and understand it better. The picture here shows various forms of siphon tube or the siphon tube arrangement. So you can find such arrangements on a boiler or a hydrofoil or pumps or any other pressure tapping arrangement where you have to read the pressure. Let's say the main engine lube oil pump and the discharge pressure will be tapped out through a copper or brass pipe and then it will be connected to the pressure gauge and before connecting to the pressure gauge there will be a curved structure like this on the pipe. So this curved structure like this or a pigtail like this or a U-bend like this is called as the siphon tube. In this video we'll see the importance of having a siphon tube for any process pressure or temperature or any process measurement in instrumentation. When you go in front of an auxiliary boiler on board our ship the pressure gauge tapping will be taken from the boiler and this will have a curved structure like this and then this goes to the pressure gauge with a cock or a small valve and this structure is called as a loop which serves the purpose of siphon tube. Now on a boiler why do we have this curved structure? Most of us think that since hot steam is coming through this pipe, the pipe has to expand or the tube has to expand. So it's provided for thermal expansion. That might be a secondary reason, but that's not the actual reason why this is provided. The main reason why a siphon tube is provided is to safeguard the pressure gauge just to avoid or prevent the pressure gauge the Bowden gauge getting damaged. Now let's see how does it prevent with the pressure gauge here and tapping form forming a loop let's say that's the loop and this tap from the boiler. So the hot water let's say the boiler is 7 bar and the water temperature at 7 bar we can refer to the steam chart but for this example let's assume it to be somewhere around 140 degrees Celsius and the steam will also be approximately at the same temperature so let's say uh, the steam is at 145 or something so when this comes through the loop the pressure gauge is safeguarded or the pressure gauge remains intact. It's not getting damaged. If there is no loop, if the tapping is going to be straight from the boiler, no loop, just straight from the boiler, the steam or water which is at 140 degrees Celsius just goes and hits the burden and then it might be a problem for it or it might get damaged. Now how does this loop prevent the pressure gauge from getting damaged? Let's assume this to be the loop. Alright, uh, this is the loop. Now what I'm going to do is before installation or during installation I'm going to fill this loop with some water or process fluid. If it's going to be instrumentation panel it will be glycerin or glycol, sometimes water, sometimes mixture of both 
and if it's going to be process oil it might be lube oil let's say uh, for the sludge pump it will be lube oil and afterwards even though the lube oil gets leaked out the sludge comes and occupies this place the idea is to have some liquid in this loop now for a boiler we always have some water filled up in this loop as shown in this picture so as the steam comes through this so the steam comes through this passage from the boiler it heats up the water or in turn the steam gets condensed the superheated or dry saturated steam does not get in touch with the Bowden gauge of the pressure gauge directly the contact is through the water so the Bowden gauge is saved from getting damaged that's the purpose of the siphon tube here is one more view of a pressure gauge tapping from a boiler or let's say some pump or something so here is the pressure vessel and here is the pressure tapping from that pressure vessel let's say uh, let's say again a boiler that's the most common thing we can easily understand with respect to uh, shipping so here the hot water or steam is there and if there is no U bend like this you need not have a coil structure like this it can be a U bend like this or even a pigtail so this will always have some water in it or during installation the installer must fill it with water or respective liquid depending upon the process fluid with respect to steam and boiler it is usually water I'll just color it up so here is the water now as the steam comes through this through the boiler it directly touches this water first and then it might push the water up so the water gets carried away and there might be some air which remains over here you can't purge out the air completely so some air or something will be there over here and this air gets inside this Bowden gauge and then gets compressed so you need not worry since uh, you might be getting a question that if you have air when it gets compressed will the reading be perfect Th is that your question if so the reading will still be perfect because air is compressible and that's why we have air compressors and the pressure gauges measuring air compressed air on both ships give a perfect ring of air bottle pressure which means air how much ever it is compressed will sh does not affect the steam pressure and it is this steam which is going to compress the air so let's say we have a 7 bar boiler and the air over here will get compressed to 7 bar and thus the reading will show 7 over here so that's how it will be and you might ask a question will the water get compressed of course you know the answer very well water is incompressible it just transfers the pressure from steam to air so that's the function of siphon tube the pigtails or u-bends are also serving the same purpose